What you see on TV. Chicago killing going south here or something 600 killed shot in this city. What you read in the newspapers. Those Twitter battles you get into. It's not real. It's only 280 characters of what is really going on. A 15 second soundbite of the pain people are feeling. 14 people killed by gun violence this weekend. Two men shot at a crowd during a block party. A national emergency truncated down to a sentence long quote appearing under the fold after the more salacious claims for numerous sources who wish to be unnamed. Fear, poverty, gang violence, a spiraling drug epidemic, a movement to remove the rule of law, a movement to remove your rights. These are not five minute blocks in the middle of the national evening news deemed less important than porn stars, celebrity feuds, and a panel debating who's allowed to like Kanye. These are real problems that affect real people, good people. And they're being allowed to happen because local and state leaders are not being held accountable. Failed officials who aren't just keeping their people in poverty, crime, and violence, they're putting them into it. And because these truths are being buried, because real issues are not covered, these failed leaders are able to distract, manipulate, and lie. They tell their people that the reason for their woes is guns. That NRA are the ones chaining them to lives of despair. That those who may think differently are deliberately keeping them in the cycle of violence. It's why in just one weekend, the families of 66 shooting victims cry and mourn because a failed leader stays in power weekend after weekend as it happens over and over again. When they have guns as a scapegoat, no one cares about the mother in Seattle who won't let her kid go to the park because she's afraid he'll step on a used needle. Because her city now makes it easier for people to use drugs than to purchase a firearm. This nonsense we see every minute on TV is why the mothers of police officers and the mothers of inner city black males worry every night, bonded by some shared and twisted sense that something will go wrong. Living in fear because we can't as a country have a meaningful conversation without looking at the root causes, without being honest about the police or the youth, without demonizing law enforcement, using them for publicity stunts. It's how the homeless are allowed to overtake California, driving property values down for most, while the tech gods look on from the hills in billion dollar homes, professing social justice behind a grin. It's why a grandmother whose neighborhood has been taken over by gangs lives in fear, but when she wants to buy a gun to protect herself, she's told she's the bad guy. They don't cover these stories because it's too hard. I tried to do it their way, going on their shows, pitted against someone from the so-called other side, allowing myself to be misquoted and taken out of context, being called slurs for offering a different viewpoint online. So now I'm gonna do it my way. Do something different. Do what they're too lazy or too afraid to do. I'm gonna travel to the cities and towns we don't talk about. I'm gonna go directly into the areas being run by leaders who hate me, who hate guns, who hate NRA TV, and who hate the NRA. And I'm gonna show you the people on the ground, impacted by their failures and unwillingness to lead. I'm gonna tell their stories, the ones the national news media won't. Because I believe that America is only as strong as its weakest communities. Because what is happening in Chicago could happen in Colorado Springs. The drugs in Seattle could make their way to Virginia Beach. The gangs in California could come to your homes. But most importantly, I'm gonna tell you these stories because it's the right thing to do. And I'll be an ally and an open book to every member of the state and local media in the areas I'll be visiting willing to talk. Help me cover these problems. Help me bring attention to the forgotten men and women of your hometowns. The ones the national news won't cover because it's too hard. Help me shed light on the failed leadership that has chained good people to inescapable lives of poverty, crime, danger, and violence. Help me help your cities. Ask me anything, I'll answer. And to the failed leaders who have allowed widespread pain, despair, and hopelessness happen on their watch, while they scapegoat guns, gun owners, and the NRA, get ready, because I'm coming. And when you're finally being held accountable, you'll look up and you'll know that NRA TV 
was here. Real quick before you go, I want to talk about the guide I put together titled, If I Could Carry Only One Gun. In this guide, I talk about which gun that would be and the reasons why. So be sure to click the link in this video to download your free copy today. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Colin Noir, and I'm out.